Welcome to another week of learning. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic electricity. Electricity plays an essential part in our everyday lives and it's one of the biggest discoveries of our time. Most of us use our cell phones every day to check for notifications on social media, play games, send text messages, make calls or take photos. We also operate household appliances just like this one. In the evening, we use light bulb to see clearly. In fact, we can see the use of electricity in various devices, equipment, and machines. Electricity is the presence and flow of electric charge or simply the movement of electrons. The movement of electrons through a device like our TV or computer is what gives the energy to display images and create sounds. Many other gadgets and machines all harness the movement of electrons to do work through electricity. In this module, the most essential learning competency is to infer the relationship between current and voltage. In the previous topic, we've learned that heat energy flows from a body of higher temperature to a lower temperature. Temperature is a measure the average kinetic energy of molecules. The more kinetic energy, the higher is the temperature of an object. The three fundamental quantities in this lesson are the following. Current, voltage, and resistance. The three fundamental quantities in this lesson are the following. Current, voltage, and resistance. Let's define each. Current is the rate of flow of electric charges from one point to another in a circuit. Voltage is the difference in charge between the two points in a circuit. Resistance is the tendency of materials to resist the flow of current. A circuit is a closed loop that allows electric charge to move from one point to another. Electrical circuit symbols are graphical representations of electrical components which are symbols used in a circuit. Alright, so let's discuss more about current. In electricity, current measures the amount of charge flowing through the circuit over a period of time. These charges are free electrons in conducting wire. When there is flow of electric charges, an electric current is present. Current is measured in amperes. The standard unit of charge is Coulomb. One ampere is the rate of flow equal to one column of charge per second passing through a point in a circuit. One column is the electric charge of 6.25 billion electrons. The unit ampere represented by capital letter A is named after André Marie Ampere, a French physicist who made important contributions about the connection of electricity and magnetism. Next is the voltage. It is the amount of potential energy between two points on a circuit. It is what makes a current move. It is expressed in unit volt. The unit volt is named after the Italian physicist Alessandro Volta, who invented the electric battery. Batteries and generators are the primary sources of voltage in a circuit. Take note that voltage does not go anywhere, it only drives the charges to move. Now let's proceed to resistance. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of current. It slows down or prevents current to flow. Greater resistance means smaller current flowing in a circuit. It is measured in Ohm, named after the German physicist George Simon Ohm and represented with the Greek letter Omega. There are several factors that affect resistance. First one, length of the wire. The longer the wire, the greater will be its resistance. Longer wires have more resistance than shorter wires because longer wires have longer paths for the current to flow. Second, thickness of the wire. The greater the cross-sectional area, the lower will be its resistance. Thick wires have less resistance than thin wires because thick wires have greater cross-sectional area 
for the electron to flow than in wires. Third, temperature. Resistance usually increases as temperature increases. At higher temperature, more resistance is created against the flow of current. Lastly, type of material. It varies with the material used. Different materials have different amount of resistance. Materials that allow electrons to travel through, like copper wires, are called conductors, whereas materials that inhibit electron flow, like rubber, are called insulators. Copper wires have less resistance than steel wires of the same size because copper has higher conductivity or the property of matter that allows current to flow than steel. Aside from that, resistance of an object also changes when the object becomes wet. Dry human skin has a resistance of 100,000 ohms. When it gets wet, its resistance is reduced. Therefore, it is important to use dry hands when plugging electrical appliances. The relationship between current, voltage, and resistance was first discovered by George Simon Ohm. In what we call Ohm's law, he found that at constant temperature, Current is directly proportional to the voltage, but inversely proportional to resistance. This means that when the voltage is increased, the current will increase as long as the resistance doesn't change. If resistance is increased and the voltage remains the same, the current will decrease. Remember, Ohm's law is only applicable at constant temperature. When the temperature changes, there will be a change in resistance as well. Ohm's law is stated as V equals I times R, where voltage, represented by capital letter V, is expressed in volts, while current, represented by capital letter I, is expressed in amperes. Resistance, represented by capital R, is expressed in ohm, or Greek letter omega. Using the Ohm's law triangle, we can easily memorize the following equation. To look for voltage, I times R. To look for current, V divided by R. To look for resistance, V divided by I. Now, let's solve some two problems. Let's try calculating the electric current. Find the electric current if the circuit has a resistance of 100 ohms and voltage of 14 volts. Given, resistance is equal to 100 ohm, voltage is equal to 14 volts. Unknown current. The equation to be used is I is equal to V divided by R. We are going to substitute the given values from the equation. Solution I is equal to 14 volts divided by 100 ohm. And the answer is I is equal to 0 0.40 amperes. Calculating voltage. If a circuit has a resistance of 44 ohms and a current of 5 amperes, what is its voltage? Given, resistance is 44 ohms, current 5 amperes. Unknown is the voltage. Equation will be V is equal to I times R. Solution V is equal to 5 amperes times 44 ohms. And the answer is V is equal to 220 volts. Lastly, for calculating resistance, calculate the resistance of an automobile headlight through which 2.50 amperes flows when 12 volts is applied to it. Given, current is 2.50 amperes, voltage 12 volts. Unknown resistance. Equation will be R is equal to V divided by I. Solution. R is equal to 12 volts divided by 2.50 amperes. The answer is R is equal to 4.8 ohms. In summary, the electric current flowing in the circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. Stay tuned to our next video. Thank you for watching.